What's up guys? Uh, I thought I'd do another video. Um, as many of you know, I went on a gallopentin after getting off of Benzo's Spice. And this shit sucks. It's terrible. Um, I really didn't expect this to happen. Uh, I talked to my psychiatrist uh, at a rehab program and she put me on this and said I'd be fine. Apparently, uh, she was wrong. So, yeah. Um, just spending a lot of my time like feeling down with uh, DP or DR or like just completely out of it. it sucks. It's terrible. Um, I can't even find the words to explain it. It's just that bad. Um, shit. I cut all the way down from 2,700 milligrams to like, uh, I'm on 800 right now, but I'm thinking about updosing again. Um, I really don't know what I want to do at this point. Problem is, uh, withdrawals are still hitting me pretty hard even though I updosed. Um, I was going to cut to 400 and I kept it at 800. And, uh, I think about updosing to 1,200, so... It just sucks. Um, I just want to tell you guys to keep going strong at it. And uh, if, if I can give you some advice, um, eating organic and cleaning out your uh, stomach or your gut, as they say, is like the, one of the best things you can do uh, for withdrawals. I've been eating uh, only organic food or like mostly organic. You know, the stuff you look in the ingredients and it says like less than 2% of the following, and it has like four or five ingredients. Um, those are the kind of things that are the best for you. Um, the other stuff can make you sick when you eat it. Um, with all those preservatives and whatever else they add in there, it's just not good, you know. So, um, try to avoid those foods. And if you can avoid those foods, uh, your health will improve overall and then you'll get better from this stuff faster. Uh, problem with me is I get this nighttime anxiety thing that happens where I'll be cool during the day, like right now I'm okay. Uh, not really feeling my best, but I feel okay. But uh, by the time it turns nighttime, we're gonna be a complete mess, most likely. And I'm only dosing twice instead of three times, so that's another hard thing. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to updose to 1200, but I really don't know what to do at this point. Um, I kind of figure like dosing three times will be easier, but I really don't want to go all the way up to 1200, so. I'm going to see if I can uh, get my other script in from the pharmacy for 600, cut that in half, and uh, try to mess around with that maybe. I really don't know. Um, I don't know. I didn't think gabapentin would be that bad of a drug, you know, like uh, coming off again after being off for benzos for a year, but it really, really hit me hard. It's like kind of like an aggravated, irritable sickness. Like um, all the original anxiety that you have is just like flowing out of control, like amplified. And uh, you don't you don't know what to do. Like uh, last night, I just laid in bed for hours, like just like staring at the ceiling, like I was all fucked up, like my eyes were twitching. Uh, and I tried to just like keep it cool, but like I couldn't keep cool. I was just like twitching and like laying there. And then finally, I fell asleep and I uh, woke up this morning like around 5 a.m. Um, but yeah, these drugs are terrible. It's like uh, one of the worst areas of the brain to mess with. And unfortunately, I messed with it again when I should have known better. But at the point, I had like a major anxiety. Um, actually, I had like a minor psychosis going on, and uh, that's never good. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know why I got like that. I've been off all meds for seven months. Um, I don't know if it's like all the meds cleared out of my system and I was still fucked up or what it was, but. Yeah, I'm stuck on meds again, but I'm not on any like uh, like really bad antipsychotics or anything. It's just the uh, gabapentin I gotta get off of like as soon as possible. Um, but I shouldn't say that though. I mean, even if I get off fast, I'm gonna have withdrawals when I get to zero anyway, so... I might as well taper a little bit slower and uh, see if that can help. Uh, or up to us, but yeah. Um, I just thought I'd check in and uh, chat or whatever because I'm really bored, like I have nothing to do anyways. Um, I guess that's about it. See you guys later on.